Hello, my name is Karina, and today I wanted to show you how I knit with two colors uh, using the Danish or the Scandinavian or the continental way. So uh, I hope you can use this for something. Um, the pattern that I have here, I made um, compiling a couple of patterns from a book, and I'm using this to make a hat. I have already made a couple of gloves using the same kind of pattern. Um, and I really liked it. The gloves is the uh, third or fourth attempt. It's the fourth attempt I have used in. Uh, I tried using this kind of um, knitting with two colors. I would uh, like to show you how I do this. Uh, I've seen a lot of different ways, but uh, the best. Uh, best advice I have been given is to keep the colors in the same order at all times. So uh, if you mess it up uh, to put the right color on the back or in the front, that is not the most important. The most important is that you'll continue to do the same thing all the way through. But I keep them like this, so I have one color. Um, it's behind my middle finger and one behind my index finger. I'll leave one here and one here. And the, the kind of rule that I have made in my head, I don't know if that is true, that is that this color is closest to me and it will be the color that will look closest to me. Um, you can tell in this lines that it seems like the the lighter green is a little bit behind the darker green. And then I use this pattern and since there is so many lines, I um, either I will put something down so you say, okay, this is the next row that I'm um, going to, to knit. I don't know if you can tell that. Um, so I just knitted this, and the next will be this one. You can also mark out here, just make like little marks as you go. I don't really like that. Um, what I have been doing is to just fold the paper so I know, okay, this is why I'm at. I don't have to focus on anything uh, underneath. I just have to focus on what is coming up ahead. So, I will put them like this. And then here I'm starting with two of the dark colors. So I need one, two, and then there is one of the light colors. Uh, one dark, one light, uh, three dark. And this will continue all the way through, so yeah. Think of a way to remember it from yourself for yourself. Um, if you cannot tell by um, looking at this, but yeah, I've got the two. I got the one here with the lights on the sides, and then I will need. Two, three, this. What I'm doing is just the color closest to me, I'll just knit it like normally. And then the color behind, I will go over to pick that one up. And then I will continue. The way that I'm doing this will make it look like this on the back side. I don't want it to be any uh, further apart because then you can trap a finger behind this or something. Um, so yeah, that's actually just what I'm doing. I hope you could use this. Uh, please let me know if you're doing this the same way or a different way. I've seen someone uh, using one color on one hand and one color on the other hand and like combining the English and the uh, Danish or continental way 
Um, but yeah, please let me know. And until next time, have a very nice day. And God bless you. Bye.